If you thought the iPhone 17 Pro Max was the peak of Apple innovation, think again. Because what's already being developed inside Cupertino for the iPhone 18 Pro Max looks like a full generational leap, not just a yearly refresh. This is where Apple begins redefining the iPhone all over again, combining new materials, the first true tuninometer A-series chip, an entirely re-engineered camera system, and the biggest display overhaul since Dynamic Island arrived. So, let's break down everything that's leaked, rumored, or confirmed by trusted analysts, and explain why waiting for the iPhone 18 Pro Max might be the smartest tech decision you make this decade. 1. A subtle but striking redesign While Apple is not tearing apart the entire industrial design, the back of the iPhone 18 Pro Max is reportedly getting a quiet but meaningful transformation. According to early supply chain reports from Digital Chat Station and analysts tracking Apple suppliers, the MagSafe window will no longer be a plain slab of glass. Instead, it's expected to be slightly translucent, creating a faint layered look that reveals the inner magnetic ring and charging coils, somewhat reminiscent of the Nothing Phone aesthetic, but far more refined. The rest of the chassis will still be aerospace-grade titanium, polished, and slightly lighter thanks to a new internal frame structure. Apple is apparently refining the curvature of the edges, again, to make the phone sit more comfortably in the hand. Expect an improved, fingerprint-resistant coating and a new soft matte finish that diffuses light differently under bright conditions. It's small, but it will make the Pro Max instantly recognizable. 2. The Smaller, Smarter Dynamic Island Up front, Apple is preparing a reduction in the Dynamic Island size. No, we're not yet getting under-display Face ID or a fully hidden selfie camera. That's still targeted for the iPhone 20 generation, but this intermediate step matters. By trimming the area occupied by the sensors, Apple frees up a little more screen real estate and subtly modernizes the overall look. It's very similar to what happened when Apple shrunk the notch between the iPhone 12 Pro and the 13 Pro. Functionality won't change dramatically, but the presentation will feel cleaner and more immersive, especially when watching HDR content or gaming at full resolution. Behind the glass, the display itself may be switching to next-generation microlens OLED panels, technology already being tested by LG Display and Samsung Display for higher efficiency and brightness without increasing power draw. 3. A Variable Aperture Camera Revolution Now to what many analysts are calling the biggest single leap in iPhone camera hardware since the iPhone X. The arrival of a variable aperture 48-megapixel main sensor. Ming-Chi Kuo and other insiders have corroborated that Apple is experimenting with mechanical aperture blades similar to what Samsung briefly used years ago. Why is this important? because it solves one of the oldest problems in smartphone videography, the unnatural look that happens when a phone compensates for bright sunlight by using ultra-high shutter speeds. With a variable aperture, the lens can physically close down to limit incoming light, maintaining proper motion blur and producing footage that finally looks cinematic without software tricks. For photographers, this also means more control over depth of field and background separation giving real optical bokeh instead of computational blur. Expect Apple to pair this with improved sensor-level HDR, a larger photodiode layout, and a next-gen image pipeline built into the A20 Pro chip. We'll get to that soon. 4. The A20 Pro, Apple's first 2 nanometer powerhouse. Every iPhone generation brings a new processor, but the A20 and A20 Pro chips mark a genuine technological milestone. They'll be the first Apple Silicon built using TSMC's 2 nanometer gaffet process, a major architectural change from FinFET transistors used since 2013. Gaffet gate all around field effect transistor. Technology reduces electrical leakage, dramatically improving power efficiency and heat management. What that means in practice, up to 25 to 30% better performance at the same power draw or 35 to 40% lower energy use for equal performance. Apple is also said to be integrating RAM directly onto the main SoC wafer, minimizing latency and increasing throughput, similar to what the M-Series. Max do.
This could allow up to 12 gigabytes of unified memory on the Pro Max model, boosting multitasking and enabling heavier on-device AI processing. In benchmark terms, early prototypes reportedly outperform even the M3 MacBook Air in certain single-core scenarios. It's not just about speed, it's about sustainability. Battery drain during video recording or gaming could drop by as much as 20%, something every heavy user will notice immediately. 5. Thermal Redesign – Stainless Steel Vapor Chamber Cooling All that performance would be meaningless without proper cooling. Apple appears to be overhauling its internal thermal system with a redesigned vapor chamber, larger in volume and featuring stainless steel capillaries instead of copper alone. While stainless steel is less thermally conductive, it's far more rigid and allows Apple to make the chamber thinner while expanding its surface area, overall increasing heat spread efficiency. Combined with better graphite sheets and a rerouted internal airflow pattern, this could finally solve the slight thermal throttling observed on the iPhone 17 Pro Max during 4K 120 frames per second recording. 6. Full Satellite 5G Internet Connectivity Perhaps the most futuristic feature on the list, two-way satellite internet, not just emergency texting. Leaks suggest Apple has been negotiating with SpaceX's Starlink division and other global partners to bring true satellite broadband capability to the iPhone 18 Pro Max. Imagine hiking, camping, or driving through rural areas and still being able to load maps, stream music, or even join a FaceTime call, all without terrestrial towers. Speeds won't rival 5G urban networks, but for connectivity anywhere on the planet, this could be revolutionary. For Apple, this also fits perfectly into its long-term global safety and accessibility strategy, ensuring every iPhone can communicate regardless of infrastructure. 7. Simplified, more reliable camera control button. The new camera control button introduced recently will get a functional redesign. Apple is expected to remove the capacitive swipe layer, keeping only pressure-sensitive recognition. Many early reviewers found the capacitive gestures too sensitive. It was easy to accidentally change modes or zoom levels while framing a shot. By switching to pure pressure sensing, Apple aims for a more intuitive, DSLR-like tactile feel. In addition, several case manufacturers have leaked CAD drawings showing a slightly lower placement of the button making it easier to press naturally with one finger. This small ergonomic fix could transform the iPhone into a far better camera companion. 8. Apple's own C2 and C2X 5G modems After years of depending on Qualcomm, Apple's in-house modem project is finally ready for mainstream deployment. The iPhone 18 Pro and Pro Max are set to feature Apple C2 slash C2X modems replacing Qualcomm's X75 entirely. The biggest advantage? Native millimeter wave 5G support. Improve handover between Wi-Fi and cellular. And up to 30% lower power consumption during data transmission. Because Apple now controls every chip inside the device, from the neural engine to the modem, switching between networks will feel instantaneous. No more 30-second dropouts when leaving your home Wi-Fi. It's the kind of invisible improvement that makes a huge real-world difference. Nove telephoto, camera upgrade, brighter aperture, sharper zoom. Apple isn't stopping with the main lens. The telephoto camera will reportedly feature a larger aperture to allow significantly more light onto its 48-megapixel sensor. Currently, low-light zoom photos still suffer from noise and grain. By increasing the aperture and refining the periscope optics, Apple can produce cleaner, sharper results even at four times or five times optical zoom. The company is also working on improved optical image stabilization and a more advanced sensor shift mechanism to compensate for handshake during long exposures. Paired with the new image pipeline inside A20 Pro, this setup could deliver the most natural and detailed zoom performance of any smartphone yet. 10. Record-breaking display brightness. The final major hardware upgrade revolves around the screen itself. Sources indicate Apple is targeting up to 3,600 nits peak brightness, matching or exceeding the brightest Android flagships already on the market. 
This means better visibility under direct sunlight, more accurate HDR rendering, and even higher perceived contrast ratios. Apple may also raise the typical manual brightness from 1000 nits to around 1200 nits, making everyday use more comfortable without triggering auto brightness limitations. Combined with the smaller dynamic island and improved color calibration, this will be one of the most beautiful smartphone displays ever made. 11. Software Synergy, iOS 20, and Apple Intelligence While most of the leaks focus on hardware, Apple's software strategy deserves equal attention. The iPhone 18 Pro Max will launch with iOS 20, which is expected to expand Apple Intelligence, the company's new AI framework across the entire operating system. We're expecting features like on-device summarization for messages and emails, i-assisted photo editing, natural language Siri powered by the neural engine inside A20 Pro, and predictive battery and performance management. By keeping all computation local instead of cloud-based, Apple maintains privacy while matching, and in some cases surpassing, competitors that rely on remote AI models. 12. Charging, Battery Life, and Accessories The iPhone 17 series introduced 40 what wired and 20 what MagSafe charging, and those numbers are expected to remain for one more year. However, improved efficiency from the new chip and modem will still deliver around 10 to 15% longer battery endurance overall. Internally, Apple may use a stacked battery design, similar to what EV manufacturers do, increasing capacity without making the phone thicker. This approach also allows for better thermal distribution during charging, extending the battery's lifespan. The new MagSafe 3 ecosystem will debut alongside, offering magnetically aligned accessories with faster data throughput through hidden pogo pin contacts, a small but meaningful upgrade for future peripherals. 13. Release Timeline and Pricing Outlook Production timelines suggest we'll see the iPhone 18 Pro Max announced in September 2026, following the standard cycle. Pricing may rise slightly. Industry analysts predict a $50 to $100 increase due to the expensive 2 nanometer process and new camera modules. That means around $1,299 US dollars for the base 256 gigabytes Pro Max model though Apple may offset it by increasing storage tiers across the lineup. 14. Should you wait? If you're using an iPhone 14 Pro Max or older, the iPhone 17 Pro Max already offers massive gains in efficiency, battery, and camera performance. But if your current phone still performs well and you're not in urgent need of an upgrade, waiting for the iPhone 18 Pro Max makes perfect sense. It's shaping up to be a once-in-a-decade redesign the kind of model that remains relevant for years. From the 2 nanometer chip and translucent back to satellite internet and improved ergonomics, this is the iPhone that brings Apple's ecosystem into a new technological era. Final thoughts. So there you have it, the top upcoming features and innovations expected in Apple's next flagship, the iPhone 18 Pro Max. A refined design, a smarter display, next generation silicon, and genuine camera hardware breakthroughs. Apple isn't just iterating. It's preparing a foundational shift that will power the next wave of devices, from the iPhone SE 5 to the Apple Car interface, all built around the same efficient architecture. If the leaks hold true, 2026 will be remembered as the year Apple rebuilt the iPhone from the inside out.